Hi everyone, it's Lisa from Heal Talk, and I, it's been a crazy day with <clears throat> getting ready for my event, with elections happening. Can you believe it? After this morning, when I went and voted and I got my beautiful seal, I walked out feeling proud proud of being a citizen, proud of being who I am and doing my due diligence in and civic duty. Does my vote count? I believe so. But does it really matter? Because I know my vote counts in my community. It counts locally. Does it count nationwide? Hmm, I think that's more of the electoral votes. At this time, when I was talking about it, it was about expectations. What is it that we expect? Believe me, I am nothing compared to the ones who are running at this moment, who are constantly looking, even making the phone calls at this moment. And I've got a few of them within our community that I take my hat off and they their name starts with A. And I'm not going to say much more about it, but I wish you luck and you know who you are. I know that the polls will close and I believe in my heart that you are the winner. But expectations. We expect so much in life. We expect our mail to be delivered every single day. We expect the sun to rise when we awaken in the morning. We have expectations that when we go to the grocery, the food and everything that we want is there so that we are shopping. And if we're looking for a banana, that it's there. So if you are looking for the meat and the produce and everything, it is there. So in life, we have so much expectation that we don't think twice about it. Because we've come to the point of, as if we're entitled, that the supermarket is entitled, that everything that it's happening, it's happening for us without taking responsibility. Well, everything in life is a responsibility. If I don't take care of myself, I can't expect my weight to be at a certain place. If I don't walk my dog and tend to my dog, I love my body, there is an expectation that my dog has from me. I know they love us unconditionally, but there is an expectation. The same way as there is an expectation from our partners, from our children, from our parents, Life is about expectations, but it's about what we create as an expectation because it comes down to our belief system. And I'm going to give you a secret. I created an acronym, acronym for a belief system, and that's called BS. That's right. It is for belief system, but it's really a BS. Why? Because my belief system may not be the same as yours. What I expect of my surroundings may not be the same as what you expect life to be. So our expectations are not always true to be the fact. And my truth is not always fact. And when we come to point and put all this together, we have to realize truth and fact and our expectations, they can all be different things. Even for this election or the perfect partner that we want in life, we dream about it, we expect it to happen. And then when it happens, it's like, that's not what I was looking for. 
And yet, that is exactly what we wanted. Haven't you heard that you get to fall in love or something that happens to you is not exactly what you wanted, but it's exactly what you needed? Because in what in our needs, our subconscious mind has a need and it provides our need that sometimes we don't even know about it. We don't know that is exactly what we need. Either the partner, the job, the climate, or even our pet. Every single day, in every way, set your expectations. Have your own belief system. Believe in the things that are right for you. Believe in the things that are good. And move forward because it is the journey. It is the journey of how we reach and grab on and arrive to our expectations. And when we get there, we look back and we say, this is exactly what I needed. It's not what I intended, but it's exactly what I needed. And with that, I want you to know that all the blessings in your life are what you dreamt about, what you asked for, and what you expected. Maybe even the little girl or the little boy, the dreams that are becoming now a reality. And go forward. Reach for the stars. And sometimes we have to say, I can't do this by myself. So I need this tribe of believers. I need a tribe of supporters. I need a tribe to help me reach my goals and meet my expectations. Help me help you. Remember that? It's Tom Cruise saying in that movie, actually it wasn't him, it was Cubic Jr. who said, help me help you. And Tom Cruise said the same thing. Help me help you. Because if we are not helping one another, we are not holding hands to getting there. From election, from home, from family, and from work. It starts from the beginning, one step at a time. Set your expectations, set your goals, and bring on a tribe of believers and supporters and stand up. Stand up and go beyond for yourself, for your loved ones. Until then, until our next time, live victoriously. You matter. I hope this segment was a good one for you and helped you.